Now let's take a look at some improvements to the hybrid modeling workflow wherein we're going to be using both auto surfacing techniques as well as regular solid body modeling techniques in order to create more parametric features. And the reason we might want to do that on this very organic model as we see here is we're going to have some uh, mounting holes that are going to be better defined as parametric circles and cones as opposed to the uh, auto surface features. So we can use this really awesome trace feature line to go in and, and just very graphically select areas where we don't want the mesh to be included in the auto surface functions. We're essentially creating boundaries to say, hey, ignore this hole. So we're going to grab the top area of that countersink there, and then it's corresponding through hole on the bottom there. And now that area will become invisible to the auto surfacing function when we go to run that. So if there's about five or six other holes there that I went through and did uh, and, and sped through that, and we're going to be running the auto surface function with our new, and this is the key here, selective surfacing. So we can just drag and box select all of those curves we created. And like I said, those will be ignored during the auto surfacing function. So we can run that with the selective surfacing selected and see the results that we get. First, we're going to see a, uh, the, the patch network be created from the auto surface function, and we're going to see if that's uh, up to snuff. Do a quick visual inspection, and then we're going to run it and create the solid body. Here's that patch network I was mentioning, and, and for very organic things, it's always going to be a, a very good result right off the bat. Usually not too much manual editing needed to be done, but you can see that those nodes are there if we need them. So looking good, we're going to accept that, and then we're going to create our solid body based off of this patch network. From there, we have our solid body, and we're going to hone in on this front mounting hole right here, just so you can see where that trace line was, and you can see that that area of the mesh was ignored during the auto surfacing function, making it very easy for us to come back and punch that hole out parametrically.